very few things for you. Um, one, what farmers are going through. Remember, during the rainy season, at the dry spell, I used to tell you that we do have very few diseases that is attacking us. Reason being, um, even the bacteria themselves are not surviving very well during the rainy season. Sorry, during the dry spell. But uh, during the rainy season, um, every bacteria is enjoying, every bacteria is multiplying. And uh, that really brings a lot of trouble for us uh, who are doing good farming. So now, um, these are the possible issues that you're getting. And this is the way you're going to handle them. I get a lot of uh, complaints about um, how goats are dying because an animal goes to the field then come back and he dies without showing you any clinical sign uh, some other thing the area is becoming too dominant uh, more so in kids and even in um, old animals uh, and those that is a persistent diarrhea two um, actually three uh, there is a lot of uh, flu and a cough, then even diarrhea. This is what you're supposed to know. As I told you, uh, when you're using drugs for spraying, let me talk about this abrupt death. Uh, an animal goes when it's alive, then come back and dies. So most of the time, most uh, the common disease that causes those kind of um, uh, characteristics or signs is heart water. Hot water, that's when the heart of an animal is filled up with water in it. And that really brings the heart to be weak and it cannot pump blood to the heart. Sorry, to, uh, to, the, to the head. And uh, the moment the head can't get um, oxygen, an animal will collapse there and then. So what you see when an animal is dying, in that case... Um, we have a disease called heart water. Heart water is caused by ticks. So you will see, as I told you, that in a rainy season, even the multiplication of ticks is very high. So if they build up that resistance, it's going to be very trouble. And uh, it's going to, actually, they easily transfer the pathogens to the animal very easily just because even the skin is very tight very soft so what you have to know um, those issues which causes uh, um, that mortality and and and, and uh, unplanned or unaware death an animal goes to the field come back and dies there and then most of the time that is hot water so if that case happens at your farm you need to check out your spraying regime if not your spraying regime look at the molecule or the kind of a caricide that you, you're using. And then which kind of a caricide have you been using up to that moment? So that means if, uh, so when you see that kind of case, check out your, uh, your spraying regime. Either the ticks have built resistance to the drug you're using, or your concentration you're using is low, or uh, you can change to another drug that you've been not using. Uh, some people um, confuse the molecules which are in that drug. You might get a drug, but you're using the same drug, but you're just changing the brand names. Let me give you an example. If you're using Bimatraz, and then you're using Amitraz, and then you're using Milbitraz, that is still the same drug. So you need to ask, the f um, you have to tell the vet, where you're buying the drug, that I have been using this drug. I'm tuning to this. Is it okay? Then he can tell you that. Then some other thing, if you see that kind of abrupt uh, death, uh, me, what I always do, I give long-acting oxy, like four meals in uh, those animals, the whole of the flock, such that if there is that infection, if there is that pathogen that is existing now, already deposited by the tick, I can make it not expand or it cannot multiply when I use an antibiotic. It make it to be static and then I let the body fight it. So that is how I do it. But when you do postmortem, you'll find heart um, filled up with water and that means that is heart water. Then some other thing is uh, diarrhea. 
you know we have so many diseases or so many animals that are feeding in a different way as we told you that um, goats are browsers if goats are browsers that means they need to eat from the shrubs they eat leaves like that kind of life so you might not even have those shrubs but you're forcing those animals to graze they are eating from the ground that means they are picking a lot of worms that means in that case you need to at least deworm them every after two months if you delay to deworm them the worms will overtake them and that will cause the diarrhea then in the kids so i i think uh, uh if you see that kind of case the only way you can prove that that is the case if you use the antidiarrheals like sulfur uh, norodine and there is no response uh try to deworm however much you dewormed but try to read the worm again and see how it does. So, um, for the case of the mortalities of the kids, I know uh, those kids are very weak. And if you have complication, let's say, in the tick resistance, those kids cannot wait. Before the old ones die, for them they will die. If you vaccinated the old stock with all the vaccines, LCCCP, PPR, and so on, and the babies were not vaccinated, Again, they're going to, they are going to have trouble. So that means if CPPP, if CCPP attacks the kid, the kid cannot stay for more than four days because for it, it's already weak. But an old goat can even stay with it for six months as it is developing slowly by slowly. PPR are still the case. So ticks, hot water can trigger all that. Then some other thing, we do have mixed infections whereby you find a poor spraying regime or, or the resistance of the, 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 the ticks. Uh, then you find that you have trouble with diarrhea, you have worms already, then you have PPR and CCPP. Those are many cases to handle at your farm. You might handle, let's say, uh, you vaccinate CCPP, you vaccinate PPR. Uh, remember, those are all respiratory diseases. Now, if you add in an issue of um, um, hot water, that becomes complicated. So if it becomes complicated, the heart is going to be weak, the lungs are already rotten, so you're going to have a lot of trouble. So, all in all, that is going to the way we are managing our diseases. We don't vaccinate in time, we wait, we wait for death, and then we think about our animals. So, like in this rainy season, me, I would advise a farmer, make sure you have the worm. If possible, now this is a prolonged rain. The worm, every after two months, because worms are many, you get it. Uh, spray at least twice in a week, because the ticks are multiplying at a high rate. Then, three, make sure that you have vaccinated all the diseases. And then, have some drugs on your farm. You cannot run a farm when that farm cannot have a kit. You have to have a kit. At least have gentamicin, have gentamox, have pen and strep, have dexamethasone, have a duwama, um, hydrogen peroxide. Reason being, the bacteria are many and the, 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 the abscesses are more. So you also have that. Um, I think you have oxy-10. I have oxy-20 on your farm. If you have all those drugs with you, at least you can find a way how you can fight against these diseases. So me, that's the way I'm handling it. Kids cannot manage uh, diarrhea for more than two days. If diarrhea is existing, there is a drug called, um, if you see that diarrhea in kids, look for a drug called scorban, look for the drug called norodine, esdine, there is intertrim, uh, there is uh, uh, intradine, those are all uh, antidiarrheals that you can have. So, I think if you listen to me, that will definitely help you. And thank you very much. That has been my concern.